Our next characters are once again for the Fantasia segment, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. They don't ever talk, they have no personality, and they're not even human. All they do is just one command. Whatever was the first one that you gave them. These are the brooms. Now these guys are the perfect example of an experiment gone horribly wrong. In their first appearance in The Sorcerer's Apprentice, they came to life by Mickey when he was trying out the magical hat. After that, he made it do his job by getting water with a bucket, then dumping it in a cauldron. Simple, right? Well, after one iconic dream sequence later, Mickey realizes that he forgot to give the broom one more command. Knowing when to stop. So, how do you stop a broom from flooding your room? How about chopping it down with an axe? Uh, apparently not, because they don't die, they multiply. It's only Yen Sid who knows how to stop these guys. Outside of Fantasia, whenever Mickey has something special going on, the brooms are always there to make an appearance, like in Fantasmic, Mickey's Philhar Magic, or a parade down Main Street. The brooms also made a few cameos in different places, like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, a few times in the House of Mouse, and even once in Darkwing Duck. What do you mean? You don't do windows? Get out of here and get to work! They also made an appearance in one scene in Jerry Bruckheimer's version of The Sorcerer's Apprentice. My reaction to the scene? In Kingdom Hearts, instead of doing harm to the property, they're the housekeepers of the Disney castle by keeping everything clean. But unlike other housekeepers, at least they never ask for more lemon pledge. No, no, Mr. Mickey no here. However, unlike in Kingdom Hearts, where they're meant to help, in Epic Mickey, they are meant to kill. In that game, they're one of the block's minions called the Sweepers. And these guys are one of the nastiest enemies you'll encounter. What they do is pitch thinner everywhere with their bucket, and when you're on a bridge made out of paint, make sure you never stand in one spot because he will make you fall down. And don't get too close to him either because he will kick you out to a river of thinner. One word of advice, try to be friends with those guys. Paint them as much as you can, and they'll turn out to be pretty useful against enemies.